All right, so I know I said I was going to get to this story a long time ago, but uh, things got busy, and I'm here now. So this is the story of the time that I did cocaine in front of the vice principal of my high school. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. I hope you guys enjoy, and let me know if you want me to keep making these. So this story takes place, I believe, the same semester as the uh, overdose and the whole rehab event, and I think it was one quarter before. All right, so my GPU wires are fucked up right now, which is why videos keep getting delayed and I don't use my PC much anymore. I need to get it fixed, but uh, it keeps crashing, and I think I've got it set up to where it'll be okay now. But I had to rewrite my entire script because it just blacked out on me. Anyway, back to this story. This takes place in the first few months of my coke addiction, and I was doing it pretty much every other day at this point. And I hadn't really done anything I considered super hard at this point, just maybe like a few random pills that I had found or been given. So this was kind of my introduction to hard drugs. But I had always wanted to try coke, and the homie hit me up saying he had a plug, so of course I jumped on it. The dude was really nice, he was this black military dude, super polite, and he had some okay coke. I'm glad it wasn't laced or fake or anything like that, at least. I ended up paying 650 for a quarter, which compared to today's prices is pretty crazy, but at the time that was pretty standard for where I live. And I flipped a lot of it, which is what kept my addiction going. I'd say in total I spent around three to four grand of my own money, not including what I sold on it. Now that that's established, let's talk about the class. So it was my senior year and I was taking a business management class, which I actually wanted to take seriously, but I was so drugged out at the time I wasn't able to pass it. Anyway, I believe we got to pick our seats, and I chose to sit in the back with some other kids who weren't exactly A-plus students. There was one Mexican kid who we were going to call Andrew, and one white kid who we were going to call Blake. For the most part, I stuck to myself and my friend group, and I didn't really have any friends in this class, so I didn't talk to them much at first, but I could tell they were uninterested in the class. They knew each other from before, so they were always in the back cracking jokes with each other. And eventually we had some group assignments and I was in a group with him. I ended up getting to know them a little better and I think I sold a few cards to Blake at some point and he would let me hit his vape on occasion. I didn't end up becoming good friends with either of them but we were all chill with each other. After some time had passed I had gotten more comfortable and started hitting vapes and cards in class in front of them and they'd laugh about it. I'd never gotten caught smoking in school or in public and I would snort and smoke things all the time so I was pretty confident with it and I'd always be smoking something on the bus and there was another time I did coke at a Cane's on a table that I ended up working at later. But yeah, if I did get caught, it was because I knew the teacher didn't care. There was this one super chill teacher, I forget her name, but uh, shout out to her. My junior year, I was taking her senior level English class because I needed extra credits to graduate in time since I wasn't in school for my freshman year. She did her best to help me pass though, and I think I ended up with a 59.7, which is 0.3% below a passing grade, but I respect her for keeping her word, because she told me she wasn't going to hold my hand through the class. I remember being in her classroom at the end of the day, on the last day of junior year, working overtime to finish one assignment that I needed to pass. Now I have ADHD, which is a horrible excuse, but I did everything to try and pass this class. At the time I wasn't on Adderall because of my drug abuse, which is funny because I ended up getting it later that summer but yeah i could not hold my focus for the life of me ended up failing but there were so many times i came in either smelling like weed or having some very loud bud in my backpack because i didn't have a car and we didn't get lockers at this school i just kept everything on me at all times she obviously could smell it and she even made jokes about it i would sleep in class and she'd say i wonder why you're so sleepy i didn't mind that everyone was laughing at me because i thought it was funny as fuck how chill she was and there was another time where i had a joint in my backpack and this girl at my table asked me to switch tables because of the smell and she let her switch tables and didn't say a word to me obviously not a moment i'm very proud of i feel like dog shit letting her down because she was one of the very few teachers who actually tried to reach out and help me i was respectful as possible to all my teachers but most of them are dicks anyway she really believed in me though and i enjoyed her class a lot so shout out to her Anyway, back to senior year, at some point I ended up snorting Adderall in front of these kids and they thought it was fucking hilarious. And uh, Blake asked me if it was coke and I told him no, but I have coke. So the next day I brought in some coke and I did that in front of him. And he joked about blowing it off the table, which I probably would have gotten kicked out of school for punching him in the face if he did. Because it's like 25 fucking bucks sitting on the table right there and I could have lost it all if the AC turned on. 
As time went on, it became a pretty common thing that I would do some drug with or in front of them in class, but one day we get in class and it's a pretty normal day. We get our assignments and go on with life. And about 20 minutes in, the vice principal walks in and announces she's going to be watching the class. And literally the first thought in my mind was, I'm going to do coke in front of her. So we're sitting there and I pull out my signature black baggie. And it's about the size to fit an eight ball. It's pretty small. And uh, these kids just look at me like, no fucking way. Obviously, if anyone ever told on me, I was more than fucked and definitely catching a case. So this was probably one of the most ballsy things I ever did, even if I didn't really process that at the time. Also, the most trust I ever put into people who were virtually randoms. Anyway, we get to it, and she's doing her rounds, looking at everyone's work, and as soon as she goes by my table, I drop a rock behind my laptop and whip out my wallet, and after crushing up a few nice lines, probably about a point two in total, I rolled up my dollar bill and took one last look to see her scanning over the class right before I ducked down and snorted it. She was in front of the class, and I had it behind my laptop so she couldn't see the coke, and I tried the my best and i tried my best to make it look like i was typing when i was crushing it up so i got pretty lucky there and after she scans she goes and sits next to the teacher and i go all in snort that shit and it was like the best adrenaline rush of my life i'm pretty sure i got higher on adrenaline than the actual coke itself dickhead next to me starts giggling so i get to cleaning up the evidence as quick as possible you know wipe the desk lick the card put away the baggie right as the teacher tells him to shut up and at that point i think even if he tried to I would have gotten away with it because there was no real evidence. I would have been able to tuck the bag in my underwear if they tried to search me and I didn't let a scent of residue go to waste. And they aren't allowed to strip search you there. They have cops, but I feel like I would have been able to get rid of it in the time that it would have taken them to get a cop there searching me, strip searching me. Worst case scenario, you can always just clench your butt cheeks too and you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. They'll never squat and cough you. But still, if I would have gotten reported, I definitely would have been heavily monitored and fucked for the rest of the year. So I guess I have to say thanks to Andrew and Blake for not fucking me over. Thank you, Andrew and Blake. Mostly Andrew, though, because Blake was kind of a douchebag. Anyway, that was a much shorter story than the other one. Thank you guys for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've got some edits coming up. I'm working on a montage where I just did some random edits to see how they come out and see how they look, see how my PC renders it. Uh, and hopefully I'll spend some time on an actual good looking montage soon. But yeah, again, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff and have a good night, everybody.